Is it going? I hear like a warp hole music. Oh my God, wait a minute. What the frick, where did you come from? How should I begin this? Uh, I was prepping for something. I was trying to build up something hype for you guys for the finale, you know? I didn't want it to just be taking down the final gym and then that's it, That you know, the Pixelmon journey is over. I wanted there to be some type of like finale event aside from just getting all eight badges. And so preparing for this event, I uh, found this village here, this sand village or desert village. And while I was preparing, this son of a, wait, this son of a gun right here, Hoopa appeared out of nowhere. And I just realized that I don't have my Minecraft sound on, hold up. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I don't even remember what type Hoopa is. <laughs> he's like psychic and dark? No, that's, he can't be like Malamar, right? Maybe he's pure psychic type? Let me check it out. He's psychic and ghost, and he's psychic dark in his alternate form. Okay. Which means that this shadow sneak would probably kill it too. Uh, do we have anything not very effective against it? Maybe Garlic Jr., but he's a little bit low on health right now, I gotta say. Why not Energy Ball? I don't know, I'm kind of... I guess we're not that much higher level than it. I was kind of scared that it would just one-shot it on accident. <laughs> that usually happens. Here in Pixelmon, at least. But yeah, you know what? Energy Ball probably would be our best bet. Unless we just, like, let it die from the Sandstorm, little by little. Oh man, I don't know. Do we risk it? Now he's lost a little bit of health from the Sandstorm, too. I was gonna do, uh, Dazzling Gleam, the fairy move. I feel like that would be okay, actually, since it's not very effective. The thing is, Togekiss is a little bit higher level, though. And I realize that the more indecision I have, the lower he's getting from the Sandstorm, but I think the Sandstorm actually stopped anyway, so... Damn it, we hurt ourselves in confusion. Intense finale so far? I know, man! I'm on the edge of my seat. There we go. We didn't kill it in one hit, thankfully. It's kind of a weird feeling of intensity. Because usually, you you know, it's because we want to knock out the, the enemy Pokemon, but this time we actually don't want to kill it. Uh, so I'm going to bring back Kale for the Sandstorm. There we go. That'll whittle it down little by little. I don't think it'll kill it, though. I think it's only five turns of Sandstorm, so that won't be enough to knock it out. I have 10 Ultra Balls and basically 10 of every other kind of ball because these Beast Balls are not gonna work. So let's go for a Pokeball first. Probably not gonna work, but you know, if it does, that would be insane. This guy is actually gonna die from the Sandstorm. Oh my God. Please no. Wait, the Sandstorm has to go away eventually, right? I don't think like it resets the Sandstream ability unless you like take out the Pokemon and switch it back in. So the Sandstorm should end here technically. Okay, yeah, there we go. Wow. I was sweating, guys. Whew. Okay, let's start going for our Great Balls, then. I don't even know why I'm wasting all of my balls. I guess it's the finale. It doesn't matter, guys. We just... We're gonna wrap things up. And Hoopa would actually not be that bad against the final gym. Since it is a Psychic Gym, I believe. We could definitely use Hoopa against that, uh, being Psychic Ghost. You know, we'll actually resist but then also be super effective. That's like basically the best thing we could get. <laughs> I didn't actually plan this part. The Hoopa appeared out of nowhere, but I'll explain it afterwards. If we do manage to catch it, I'll explain the parts that I did plan out for the finale. Come on, Kale, just pin down the Ultra Ball with your foot. No, two more. Oh my goodness. I'm sweating, man. It's really cold in here, and I'm somehow I'm still sweating, at least my hands right now. Are you serious? It broke out instantly. No. This is it. The final Ultra Ball. Oh my god. Is this about to be the gamer moment? Do you believe? Ultra Ball, go! We got one shake. A two. A three. No! Oh my, wait, what? Oh, I'm fighting the Diglett. I'm like, what the heck? Hoopa <laughs> doesn't want to finish the battle. All right, I'll take out this Diglett real quick. And what we're going to do... 
You guys already should know. If you've been around watching the Pixelmon streams for a while, you should already know what's happening, dude. It's game mode time, boys. It's gamer mode. So this item actually does exist in the game. I don't actually know how you get it, though. Let me see. Let me find out. Master Ball Pixelmon. How do you get one in the actual game? 12 seconds later. The Master Ball was formerly able to be crafted. However, it cannot be crafted anymore. Wait, did it really despawn? Oh my god, no, 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 it didn't despawn. Oh my god, it's right there, dude. You freaked me out. What the hell, man? All right, whatever. I don't care where Master Balls come from. Oh, wait, what? No! No! Sable, I killed it! Sable, I killed it! Oh my god, why? Are you kidding me? You son of a... I'm putting you in the master ball now, dude. Frick this sable eye, man. What was that? Are you... Should have just thrown it. I don't think it would have worked, actually, since he was in a battle. But still, how did it... Hoopa lost to a level 36 sable eye. Can you guys just... Can we process for a second that Hoopa, the legendary mythical dude of the hoops died to a level 35 Sableye. Haha, home sweet home. Nothing suspicious at all happened there during the beginning of the episode. <laughs> we got Jerry here, of course. We got our new spanky sparkling mock bike, or at least I think it's a mock bike. Has Jerry produced more offspring? No, not yet. Keep trying though, buddy. You'll get it eventually. For right now... Well, I suppose now there's not really <laughs> much of an air of mystery to it, but... Uh... Let's just say I found something weird down underneath our house here. I mean, it's something that's been here for a while, but I didn't necessarily explain what it was. Or at least I don't think I did. Next to our nether portal, we've had, uh... I think actually Hoopa might have done this. <laughs> to be honest, it looks like one of Hoopa's portals, doesn't it? So maybe it all works out in the end. Maybe Hoopa is just calling back to us and it it didn't actually die to Sableye. It just teleported away at the last second. And we've got a sign which says, you'll need these. You get the prism bottle and loot chest. I don't think we're going to be finding that legit then. Just like we probably weren't going to find these legit. <laughs> Someone has dropped off all of the plates for Arceus next to this mysterious portal on the ground, which means only one thing, friends. Arceus finale! Arceus finale! <laughs> it's actually happening, boys. So we're going to grab all the plates. I mean, I should probably organize them a little bit better. I don't really have them in any sort of order, actually. I don't think the types have an order, but I tried to group them by like the ones that kind of go well together, like ice and dragon and fairy, you know, fire, grass, water. We're gonna grab all those and head through this portal. Where could it lead us? Oh yeah, don't forget Pokeballs, that's a good idea. <laughs> Nobody knows where it could lead us, but we're not gonna find out yet because we should actually go get some Pokeballs. I wonder if I can even... Huh. Okay, nice. I made this little entrance kind of one way, huh? Like, it's a little bit tough to get out of there. You gotta actually use the waterfall. But I have Pokeballs somewhere in here. I think it might be... Yeah, here we go. We got Luxury Balls, Premier Balls, Love Balls. Not really the best ones, to be honest. I mean, do we really need Pokeballs for anything? You know what, I think, uh, we've put in enough hard work in this Pixelmon series. Maybe not actually, but sometimes. So we're just gonna do ourselves a favor here. We're gonna give ourselves two of these, just in case. Cause I mean, there's Hoopa and then there's obviously the, the Lord himself. And we're gonna head down into these mines and see exactly what is going on with this mysterious portal that has appeared 
and the plates that we got from it. Oh my goodness! <laughs> what? This place? I never would have guessed that we were going to end up here. <laughs> so yeah, the original plan was to mysteriously spawn in this place. And then obviously the gym is over there. But there's something else that I haven't quite shown you guys uh, that is nearby. But we'll check that out in just a little bit. I guess first of all, we should just hit up the gym. Who's this lady here? I'm not a real professor. I just play it on you. Okay. Is this actually a YouTuber? I feel like there was another doctor, like Dr. Mike or something that was apparently a YouTuber you guys told me about. <laughs> I know, man. Gamer moment when you realize it was the gym the whole time. But yeah, this is uh, the plan I had was to, you know, come here through the portal. And as I was doing that or prepping for it, Hoopa randomly appeared. So I was like, you know, I should just start streaming, man. I don't want to miss out on Hoopa. And then we ended up missing out on Hoopa anyway. So that's great. Should we make it a giant Hoopa for shits and giggles? I think this is the largest we can make it. Or maybe the smallest we can make it. What's better, tiny Hoopa or big Hoopa? Let's make it big Hoopa. Whoa! Oh my god, he's like almost as big as us, dude. <laughs> oh, when we get him unbound though, that'll be insane, man. Okay, yes, I'm glad we made him big then. Master Ball, away! And little Hone Edge at level 29 somehow <laughs> doesn't even have to fight the Hoopa. We just catch it. But it's at level 45, so... Oh, dude, we got a advancement. Legend, wait for it. Derry. We got the gym music going on. That's true. Uh, that means we should probably head into the gym then, huh? Wait a minute. I don't think I have a PC with me. And we got two lucky eggs on our team members. Oh, geez. Maybe I should have uh, sorted all of this out before we came here. Because it's too late now. We got another trainer out here. Uh, you know what? Actually, no. I do need to get my PC at least so we can get Hoopa out. Uh, welcome back, YouTube viewers. <laughs> As you can see, we did some training. Hoopa's now at level 60. Zamasu's at level 60 as well. Oh my god. That training, man. Jerry knows about all about that training, dude. He's been training all his life to get himself, uh, lay a golden egg. And somehow, we managed to find the prison bottle, guys. I don't know where we found it, but we found it. I think Jerry might have actually coughed it up like a furball. Actually, that's exactly what happened, uh, as you can see right here. See, I woke up. This is a dramatic reenactment right here. I woke up and uh, this is what this is what I saw. So I can only assume that Jerry spat it out. Or maybe this was actually one of Jerry's eggs. <laughs> that makes a lot more sense than having a fur ball for a chicken at least. But it is time guys. We're going to head back down into the warp teleporter portal thing. To take on the final gym. Are you kidding me? I, I can't fit with the bike bro. I was trying to take the, the bike with me into the teleporter. <laughs> that would have been sick. Oh my god, does the bike float? Oh no, I'm not going to be able to get the... Oh no, my... Oh no, dude. Our bike is stuck at the bottom of the ocean now. Damn it. I wanted to take the bike with me to the desert. One last thing we need. I totally forgot what it was. I guess we should take our uh, badge case with us. Since this is going to be the final badge anyway. Look at that. We got our earth, water... Rock, steel, flying, grass, and ice. And the final one, I guess, will be psychic. We got our master ball with us for the Lord Arceus. What else do we need, actually? Oh, the PC. That's right. I feel like I had a PC somewhere, like a portable one that I could take with me. I guess not. So, uh, YouTube viewers, cover your eyes real quick. You don't see anything. All right. What doesn't? What do you? What you don't see doesn't harm you. And now we are officially ready. Oh, I know. I haven't used the prison bottle yet. We're going somewhere far, far away to do that. To the psychic gym. I know it may not seem like it's far away considering we teleported here instantly, but I'm pretty sure this place is very, very far from home. Uh, we're at negative 1400 and positive 16. Usually those are like the opposite numbers for where my house is at, so... The gym seemed to spawn backwards. The entrance is like facing away from the town. You know what? 
It is what it is. We got the Rhyhorn statues. Yo. That's pretty epic. Little throwback to the OGs right there. Can, I, can you find the legendary stronghold and tell me about it afterwards? What is a legendary stronghold? Sure. I, I guess we got to find a stronghold. I don't know what makes it legendary, but sure. Welcome to the Mystic Gym. Our gym leader here was a brilliant student. He always had the right answer in class, just like we do in Persona, right guys? Probably because they have psychic powers. In fact, he probably knows you're coming. Uh-oh. Anyways, this gym has invisible walls. Try to find the right path to the gym leader. Invisible walls, huh? So that's going to be the puzzle in here. I like that. It's a bit of a throwback to Koga's gym in the OG games. I gotta say, even though they're really hard to find, I really love the gym's structures in the Pixelmon mod. Because if you guys don't know, this is just in the mod itself. You can spawn these in or find them in the wild, just like by running around long enough. We didn't really have the best of luck finding them normally, but I mean, we found a good amount, actually. It was just always repeats of the same gym. But, uh... They're pretty well designed or built, I guess you could say. I like them. This is, of course, the psychic one. I think we missed a couple of them. Like, we might not have ever seen them appear. But uh, with our new Hoopa here, let's see how we do against the psychic gym. I believe most of their attacks should be neutral effective. If not, just not very effective since we have... Uh, we're psychic type ourselves. I mean, we are half ghost too, obviously, but... I don't even know why I went Zen Headbutt. Yeah, it's not very effective, but the Psychic still did a hell of a lot of damage to us there, man. That's a lot more than I was expecting for not being very effective. That's fine, though. We got Kale on the team. I'm pretty sure Kale's going to be like our main powerhouse in this final gym here since uh, that's our resident dark type. I feel like for all like the last couple of gyms, Kale has been our ace Pokemon, I guess you could say. Oh my god, I forgot potions too. Are you kidding me? A few moments later. I also forgot to use the prison bottle, so I guess we should do that now. In front of the gym, Hoopa will become unbound. No more shall you fear the shackles that are on your weird horn things. Oh my god, what the frick? My dude, what just happened? I guess we're fighting a Trapinch right now is what happened. That was scary, man. I wasn't expecting those particles to p particles to pop up out of nowhere. There wasn't like a sound effect either, so it made it a little bit more intense, I feel. But there it is. Hoopa has been unbound. And I think it'll remain in this form now until we use the bottle on it again. It is freaking huge, man. I'm so glad we spawned the big variety because I feel like this is what Hoopa would be like if it was in the real world or in the Pokemon world, you know. And now with Hoopa unbound, I think we'll uh, not get almost one shot by Psychic, hopefully. I should have also gone to the Pokemon Center, actually, because I don't want to waste my potion. Or we could always do this, actually. That's, yeah, that saves us some time, to be honest. The Pokemon Center right there, okay? I don't think people would get that mad over Poke Heal, at least. But uh, these invisible walls are not quite as troublesome as I thought they would be, to be honest. Okay, wait, never mind. I spoke too soon, guys. I'm stuck. Okay, maybe this way? Aha! Mind Rita, I foresee a victory! Bro, Hoopa's so big, he goes through the roof. Oh my god! <laughs> or I guess through the ceiling. That's actually one of the few things that, uh... Me having Spanish as a second language, I always mess up. Is roof and ceiling. Like, for some reason, I don't know, they're like the same thing in my head. So I would always say, like, the roof when I mean the ceiling. But I'm pretty sure the difference is ceiling is when you're inside and then roof is outside. So, I mean, I guess technically this would be... He's going through the floor since we're not even on the top floor. Who cares, man? Let's take on this Gallade here. What's up, Volcano Diver? How you doing, man? And we did make it extra large size. Which is exactly why it was <laughs> that huge. Thing was tearing through the building but Hoopa can tear holes into time and space so oh my god speaking of size look at this Metagross <laughs> he's tiny dude I feel like you could ride on this guy like a Segway or something 
like a hoverboard. <laughs> Imagine just riding on Metagross, but like you're using it like a surfboard or like a hoverboard. That'd be sick, man. I would want a Metagross if that was the case. I mean, I always wanted a Metagross, to be honest. I just never thought about that being a possibility with it. Oh yeah, these songs, they're hitting tonight. Oh my goodness. Actually, this Metagross is hitting more than the song, apparently. I should have seen that coming, though. I just wanted uh, Wukong to get some experience, too, since he's almost at level, I think, 64. And for some reason, I have this weird OCD that I like my Pokemon to be at an even level. Like, ending in an even number, I mean. Not odd. Like this Metagross. See, it's level 64. I, I feel like I'm not the only one that has that. That's got to be, like, a common OCD or whatever you want to call it. Like, a... It's just a thing that kind of bothers me, like a pet peeve, I guess. All right, well, this Metagross is actually a lot tougher to take out than I thought. I mean, we could just use Kale's Crunch, but I don't want to have Kale beat every single Pokemon in here, you know? This thing is actually doing some decent damage, though. They are pretty high level, so uh, that's to be expected. Wait, what is happening here? Oh my goodness. Okay, we're in water right now. Maybe that's supposed to be like a... Beam me up, Scotty type of thing. Like an alien spaceship beams you up. I don't know. Um... I mean, obviously it was water, but I'm saying... If you use your imagination a little bit, guys, you know. Maybe that's what they were trying to make it look like. So we already poke healed, right? We're good for the next battle. Hoopa's still tearing through the roof. I like how even with Poke Heal, I still sometimes forget. Oh, he's actually not tearing through the roof. But I still sometimes forget to heal my Pokemon. Uh, we got a Gardevoir. Let's go ahead and Shadow Ball that. Couldn't quite do that against the Gallade, but this time, oh my god, that Moonblast really hurt. Almost at level 61, though, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch it here just so Hoopa can get some more experience, too. If the gym leader is at the same level as these guys, or maybe a little bit higher, then he might just hit level 70 with his highest Pokemon. I don't know. I thought that the gyms in Pixelmon scaled all the way to like level 100, but... I think there might be a cap, like around level 60 to 70 or something. Oh, they scale to your level. Oh, okay. That makes a lot more sense. I thought the more badges you get, they go up by like 10 levels each time. So like by the end, they would be like around 80 or something, you know, once you have eight badges. But if it scales by our highest level, then yeah, I guess they're all going to be around Kale's level. That's probably better, to be honest. Uh, I'm not quite sure how I get up to the next floor, though. Or wait, do I just go outside? There's stairs right here. I think that might be it. We got to get outside somehow. Oh my goodness. This is just leading us backwards, isn't it? Bro, we're like skirting around the outside of the gym. Okay, I definitely spoke too soon about this gym not being that difficult. <laughs> now I'm just probably look like an idiot. At least for those of you guys that can't tell, there's invisible walls. You're probably like, what the heck is this man doing? <laughs> Someone new to the stream that just popped in and sees this. You're like, what is this man doing? I don't know why there's invisible walls, Brew Reaper, but they are damn annoying, dude. I mean, it's probably because these guys are psychics. And, you know, psychics are kind of associated with mimes, not really. I mean, psychics are also known to make invisible walls, but it's mainly mimes that do that. You know, the miming thing. Mr. Mime is a psychic type, though, so whatever. You can kind of say invisible wall, psychic. It makes sense. Now, the real question is, why does Koga have invisible walls in his gym if he's a freaking... Oh, I guess he's a ninja. Never mind. I answered my own question there. Ninjas, they just love those tricks. But I don't know if they really... Unless he's got some type of genjutsu or something. Maybe you could say it was that. The music is hitting today, though, dude. I'm liking it. I saw a suggestion earlier, though, that said uh, to play the gym music from each generation... That's that, that would be pretty cool too, but I don't know. I feel like the ones that's been playing are pretty good Dude, I seriously I feel like there's no way around here though at least on this side of the gym. It doesn't seem like 
What the frick, man? this way actually but we ran into another wall oh wait wait oh we've done it and there's invisible blocks here too what <gasps> yo we really got the power now oh wait we're actually already on survival mode what I wanted to do is this this would be terrifying in real life I think there's actually a clip like that in China or something where uh it's like a cliffside tour or like tourist attraction, but the glass underneath or there's glass. The walkway is made of glass, basically, so you can see under you and it's freaking terrifying. But here is the gym leader equal and by equal, I mean his level is equal to ours. His real name is Ordo. There's no need to introduce yourself. I know who you are, and I know you're gonna lose. Damn! Our legend is finally spread to the Pixelmon region. Hoopa is still spread all over the ceiling right now. At least it's glass though. Eh, well, I mean, he's kind of outside, so he can breathe. This battle is gonna be starting off against a Delphox. Let's see how we do. I'm actually gonna throw up a light screen. And we're gonna get one shot immediately. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't have let off with Hoopa then. Uh, what a great start. Great start. I wish we had a better attack on our uh, Garlic Jr. here than Muddy Water. Like, if we had Water Pulse on it, since it has that one ability, that'd be probably better. What's up, X Robert? We getting the wins, baby. Haven't gotten one in Fall Guys yet, but we'll get one in Pixelmon. Actually, that's not true, guys. I did finally get my first Fall Guys victory. But it wasn't on stream, so no one's going to believe me. Hey, Kale with the Earthquake. Oh my god, absolutely destroying. Uh, another Gardevoir. Wait, didn't it just have a Gardevoir? Two Gardevoirs in a row? Actually, I don't want to risk it because it's probably going to go for a fairy move right now. I'm going to go into Goku to take that. Watch it go for a Psychic instead. Oh my god, wait, actually I just realized. Fairy is still neutral effective since we're half fighting. For some reason, I thought it was... Never mind. Can we be faster than this Gardevoir? That is the question. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna say yes, we are. And we are! Nice! But we died of the recoil. Please don't glitch. Please! Oh! Thank goodness, I don't think it's glitched yet, but it might. Oh, yes, it didn't glitch. And Delphox will come back out. I think this might be his final Pokemon. Please! with the Ruby and Sapphire Gym Leader theme. The best one of them all. His final Pokemon will be an unknown? What? Wait, is this a sign? Is it unknown, like, related to Arceus in some way? I don't exactly know how, but I know that unknown is like, has something to do with Arceus. Could be a sign, man. Stop shaking your chair on face cam. What the heck? <laughs> Why are you telling me to stop shaking, dog? Stop breathing, all right? Let's go ahead and switch out because apparently it tricked us into having a choice item. Uh, so I want to go for Crunch, but we had to switch it out, I guess, to do that. And we'll go for Muddy Water with the Mighty Garlic Jr. That's actually almost going to wipe it out already. But yeah, I didn't mean to get pissed, okay? I know it may sound like that, but I can't help shaking, my dude. I'm sorry. There we go! We have beaten the final gym leader! Just in time as the song ends. Victory Pokemon theme. I'm scrambling, as always, to find it real quick. This 
So uh, I think we go, go ahead and equip that. And boom! There it is! Eight badges! Except we can actually keep collecting more, I think. Oh, wait, what? These buttons don't actually do anything. Are you serious? Uh, we also get a TM for Trick Room. Which... I'm gonna make Hoopa hold. Wait, you can't make it hold a TM. Oh no, never mind. Maybe the prison bottle? There you go. You can hold your own bottle, buddy. Because I need inventory space right now. And that is it. Final badge. Final episode. Begins now. Because we've got something very important to do. And that is take on the god of Pokemon itself. Himself? their self Arceus and that is why we've got all of the plates in my inventory here I don't actually know how to get out of this gym so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, bust down through the <laughs> through the side of the building here apologies my friend uh, I'll s I'll I'll send you a check for the repairs all right can we actually fly on Hoopa I don't think so oh wait we can wait a minute what Wait, 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 stop. Okay, I'm pushing the wrong buttons. Oh my god. Oh my god, what? <laughs> well, we can't fly on Hoopa, but we can fly under Hoopa, apparently. I think it's using its psychic powers to just carry us underneath it. Wait a minute. I thought that was the village over there. I see something glowing, but the village is over here. Which begs the question, what could be over here then? In this dry, dry desert. Hoopa, carry us over to find out what it could be. It's actually kind of dark. I don't know. I'm not, not feeling it, but... I mean, this place does look pretty foreboding. I think that's the right word. I'm trying to use my big word. Big, big, big boy. <laughs> I can't even say big boy words, dude. But I can say the actual big boy word. Blah, 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 blah. It's very menacing, very uh, creepy looking. But this here is the Shrine of Arceus. This is actually the reason why we came to this town. We found a shulker chest with all the plates in it and took a teleporter pad to a nearby village. And I think this is why it took us to that village. Do you know what this is, old fisherman? I don't think he has any idea where he is right now. I don't think Hoopa has any idea where we are either. We probably should have healed our Pokemon first, huh? If we're going to be fighting God and everything. But then again, Arceus is a, usually a normal type, so I don't think it could even harm our Hoopa. Oh wait, no, now it's a Psychic and Dark type, not Ghost, so never mind. It actually could harm us. But uh, yeah, we got this Chalice here. Got this big ol' structure around it and nothing happens when we click it we don't even get to try out our acro bike yet we'll definitely do that soon enough but first let's get these plates ready 16 remain so there's the grass plate going in we got a little green wisp now we're gonna put in fire up next i wonder if it actually goes next to the green one. Oh no it goes over there okay just frick off then. Water. Goes over there. I'm probably not going to do this as slowly for the rest of them. <laughs> Getting a little bit impatient here. So let's just put in the rest of the ones that we've got right now. And you'll see eight plates still remain. Let's go ahead and grab the remaining eight plates. Toxic. Iron. Stone. Earth. Icicle. Draco. Dread and Pixie. And with their powers combined, they create Captain Planet. Well, he might as well be the captain of this planet because it's Arceus, boys. The god of Pokemon rises. Ah! What just happened? Wait, what the hell was that? Oh my god, wait! We got the Azure Flute! That's all that happened? Okay... 
Yeah, the Arceus theme is a little bit, uh, I don't know. It definitely worked for that scene though, because I don't know what the heck just happened. But we do have the Azure Flute. And when we play it, it echoes hollowly. We're not even playing it. It's, I don't, there's no sound coming out of it. What is this game talking about? Well, apparently Arceus is not here. So, uh, what now, boys? <laughs> is there anything up here, maybe? We got some... Some doors. Literally nothing down the middle. I don't even think we can fit. Oh! Uh-oh. Uh... I don't think that's all we had to do to get Arceus, friends. To adventure we go! <laughs> A few inches later. Here we are. In the spear pillar. I'm actually curious if Pixelmon has its own music for this. Maybe it does. Hold on. Let, let's make sure that it doesn't by turning up the music in the game real quick. And on this redstone block feels like the most appropriate place to probably play the Azure Flute. So let's do it, guys. Wait, there was no music. Oh my god! Oh! Oh my god! Oh no! What the frick? Wait, that's it? There was no music? <laughs> it just... It just pops up out of the ground like that. <laughs> I was expecting like the theme to play or something. Okay, wait a minute. Can we get an instant replay of that? <laughs> There we go. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This is what we've been waiting for right here. A theme worthy of Lord Arceus. We're not going to get the battle worthy of him, but at least we get the theme. Now, the question is, should we knock him out or should we go for the Master Ball? I know that the Beast Ball's not gonna work, but I mean, maybe we can try just one. Just a, you know, you never know. Oh. <laughs> Holy crap, okay, he finally attacked us, dude. Arceus, I've been waiting this whole time for you to do something, buddy. Finally, he went for the Hyper Voice and almost knocked us out. Oh, he's gonna recover, actually. Okay, wait a minute. And here I was thinking this man was just fooling around, going for the Shadow Ball. Natural Gift doesn't seem to be working for him. Let's just weaken him once again. We can at least pretend like we have an epic battle with him. And then we'll go for our Master Ball. Oh my god, he's still recovering, dude. Holy crap. He's still recovering, okay. Wait, Arceus might just give us the battle we wanted after all. Bruh, are you kidding me, Mr. Arceus? Okay, actually, let's heal up our uh, Hoopa now. I don't want it to get knocked out here after all of that. It's gonna keep stalling us with recovery. You know what? I don't mind, man. It's making this battle feel more like an actual battle. <laughs> Come on! Zen Headbutt, you can do it! As long as it doesn't recover. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I think we might run out of Zen Headbutts first, dude. I'm pretty sure we're out of Zen Headbutts now. Yup. Let's go for a Trick Room then. Or actually, it's gonna knock us out. Let's go for our Master Ball, boys. And the God of Pokemon. will be caught the easy bake oven ding confirms it wait a minute could this be i believe that will complete pokemon pixelmon minecraft season one but i kind of want to check out our newly acquired god and the acro bike actually so first off let's uh, make it a little bit nicer here we're gonna put down the pc and there he is, Arceus, at level 80. 
we've actually caught the god of Pokemon. Totally 100% legit, guys. And now we get to ride on our horse. <laughs> oh my god. I've been waiting for this. Are you kidding me? Wait, are you serious? Why is he so slow, though? He's a freaking alpaca, dude. I think even alpacas are quicker than this, to be honest. Who needs to walk when you can fly? I guess Arceus has been used to flying for so long that it just kind of forgot how to use its legs. <laughs> Hair in our mouth. Ew, yeah, that's that's kind of gross, man. We're going to have a fur ball by the end of this. Is it going? I hear like a warp hole music. Oh my god, wait a minute. What the frick? Where did you come from? Wait, where did this thing just... Are you serious? I didn't even realize it was rising out of the ground. Also, the theme was muted this whole time, but I still hear something. Wait, do you guys hear that? That's not me playing that music. That's actually the game playing that. Bruh. We actually have some music in Pixelmon. Okay, I think we should actually try to battle this Giratina legit then. Considering we don't have a Master Ball anymore. We gotta take this guy down. God will defeat evil once and for all. And by God, I mean Kale. Because obviously, she's been our main powerhouse in this playthrough. So, it's only right that Kale gets to do the job. Or not. Wait a minute, what? Giratina died to the sandstorm? It died to the sandstorm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we did it. Yeah. And we get an ender orb for that or pearl, whatever. Really? That's what we get for beating Giratina. I guess that's our lesson to catch legendaries from now on because the rewards you get for beating them are trash. <laughs> All right, well, here you go. I'll just go ahead and leave these orbs for you here, buddy. Don't really care about the other two, to be honest. Giratina is just uh, my favorite. So uh, I'm going to head out. Peace. Oh, <laughs> I thought we just broke our bike against that cactus. Let's head back home at least and reminisce on what this uh, series has brought us, you know. From the moment we spawned in the Pokemon Center, I knew that we'd be cheating the whole way through. We didn't actually cheat for the chicken, though. The chicken... I think we actually just found an egg. I forget how exactly, but we got some eggs and... actually managed to hatch it. So Jerry's definitely legit. The Pokemon Center... not so much. Nurse Joy, though. We actually did get a lot of stuff legit, though. Like, all these armors and most of the things that we crafted. Our chair outside, dude. Best chair ever. Actually, this is probably the best spot to end it off on. Let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon first. We'll bring out all the boys that helped us in this playthrough. Uh, technically, Arceus wasn't part of the boys, though. But Hoopa, I'll consider it since... Uh, he helped us out in the last gym there. Uh, so we'll put Tojita right here. Oh, God. Where are you going, Garlic Jr.? Come on, my dude. Chill. We'll put Zamasu and Goku right next to each other. And then finally, Hoopa in the back. Garlic Jr. is just running all the way around, dude. I don't really care about you. If you don't want to be in the picture, then don't be in it, dog. But there we go. There's our final team for Pixelmon Season 1. Hoopa is behind the tree, but I mean, you know it's him there, okay? Now I kind of wish this chair was somewhere else. I, I like the aesthetic of being under the tree, but we can't really see most of our Pokemon, to be honest. <laughs> Alright, whatever. That's a good enough ending. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for Season 2, which will be on a server, like I said. So you guys will be able to play along with me. That should be tons of fun. I might even bring back some of the legends from this series. And, I mean, the world is going to exist forever, so it's not like we can't just go back and revisit this world in the future. Oh! Jerry! Jerry! Junior! It's Jerry Junior! Oh my god, what a way to end it, dude. We get, finally, our baby chicken. 
Even though I was in creative mode, I don't think that guarantees that a chicken will spawn. Yeah, it doesn't. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we got two Jerry's now. <laughs> or technically three. It's Jerry and James. And Jerry Jr., of course. And the whole rest of the squad. Thank you guys for watching Pixelmon Season 1. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye.